Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a couple of mods from a company out of Croatia called Ent Mods. Now Ent, uh, if you don't know, if you're not a Tolkien geek, uh, then uh, Treebeard, Lord of the Rings, he was an Ent. Uh, and also the very first house that myself and Karen built was called Lothlorien. Yeah, Tolkien geek here. Anyway, uh, the mods, Squonker and Amek. Now the make is going to be, they both retail for $300 and you can get them through a Facebook group, all the links will be in the description. The Squonker, this is his very very first Squonker that he's ever, they've ever produced, but the make mod, they've been doing makes for a couple of years, uh, he normally produces pipes. The wood uh, is done by themselves, stab wood, and I think, I'm sure he said to me that the wood, they supplied the wood for the melody boxes as well. But that's by the by. Uh, all the other details I shall give you in the close-ups. So here we go. So here we have the make. This is how it arrived with me. And once again, this is going to be $300. But I'm pretty sure that he's doing a promotion. Once this review goes up, the first 100 pieces is going to do for $200 instead. Now the pouch it comes in, I'm pretty sure it's made by... In fact, I'll put a link in the description to the guy that makes all these leather pouches that I'm going to show you. Uh, but uh, right, let's have a quick look inside. And out she comes. And we'll just get straight into this because it's pretty sweet looking, it really is. So we have a full stab wood sleeve going on here. We've got brass going on at the top and bottom and yeah, it's pretty nice. We have this engraving going on here as well, hopefully you can see this here. This is limited edition 001 and you can see that it is a hybrid top cap. This does not unscrew, but it does have a vent hole here, so batteries are going to go positive up, and another vent hole here. Now this is 24 millimeters here, and you can see it does come out wider, but it narrows down to 24 millimeters. Going down the bottom, I'll just give you a quick spin around the wood and show this off, and you can see that it does taper down in here. And down the bottom, I'm just going to unscrew this. This is for the switch. No issues with the threading on this at all. It's all done really well. There's no sharp burrs, no issues whatsoever. Now, popping the switch out. So, this is all... Uh, I'm pretty sure that these are silver-plated copper contacts that we have here. And you can see on the bottom, hopefully this is going to show up, that we have end mods engraved on there and it's done really really well you've got the tree and everything going on that's quite clever the way he's got the switch going on so this actually pulls off I'll take that off and you can see that we've got magnets going on in here we have a magnet here and you can actually take this little o-ring off and you can take all that out but basically this just goes on there like so going to grab the mod put my battery in positive up 18650 at this device pop this in like that and then just screw the cap on and there we go and that is the switch and you can see because of the magnets it's not overly stiff in fact it's got a really nice throw on it and the throw is actually as normal with these hybrids you know it's going to depend you know how far your 510 goes down in here because right now you can see I've got that much of a throw if I put an atty on here that will be shorter so I'll just show you this with the Doge V2 because that's what I've been running this with because it's pretty matchy matchy. There we go with that. And you can see that the, the throw is a bit shorter now. This is an RDA from Asmodus and just to give you another look with something else on top. And this is just to show it with a 22mm RDA on it. So you can see that you've got, you know, this lip going round here now. I should also point out that it does come with spare magnets and we've got spare o-rings there as well. Well I'll also add that it did come with this little thing. I've not actually opened this so let's let's just have a quick look at this here. It is awfully nice. It is a little authenticity card and it does have a, a lovely little piece written on the back here about the mod and you know the fact that you're buying it from an individual not just a mass-produced mod. I do like that little touch. Now the Squonker, once again this is going to be $300, this is stab wood and it came in this leather pouch. You know, if you want one of these pouches, you can check out the link in the description. Uh, it just pulls out like this. 
Now this is a single 18650. Uh, it's a switch fit, but they've customized the switch fit, so this does actually have five clicks on, five clicks off. It has reverse polarity protection. Uh, you've got an amperage limit of 60 amps on this. I think that's more than the standard. I think it's normally 50. Could be wrong on that one. And it has a battery cut off at 2.7 volts. Now, it's slightly taller than most normal Squonk mods. I mean, this is about 85 mils in height. It does have a Mod Maker 510 at the top here. I'll take this out. Uh, I've got a little Mod Maker bottle in there just now, but it does come with a brand new one. We have a little magnet on the, you know, where the switch fit enclosure is here. Uh, we have a corresponding magnet here, and we have another two magnets here and here. It has its own custom internal tray here as well, uh, which is, when this came to me, it was not fixed in place, uh, but I know I've now fixed this in place. They are using their own epoxy that will hold this tray in place. And it's, you know, it's actually, it's got a nice clicky switch. Uh, we've got the contacts here. Don't cause any damage to the battery wraps. It's easy enough to get the bottle in and out as well. Let's pop that out. And I really have no issues to feed back to you after using this mod for the past few weeks. Uh, just popping my bottle back in here. Okay, and there you will go. There she goes. And we'll put a battery in it as well. So it is clearly marked that positive goes up and in the battery goes. Now it is, unless you use your own ribbon, it doesn't come with a ribbon, it's going to be one of these ones that you slap on the back to get the battery out. Pop the door back on. She goes, and um, we'll have a look round. You can see that we've got this, you know, this is sloped off here, chamfered off here, and it is quite comfortable to hold. The finishing on the wood is, I've got to give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, just, it's absolutely gorgeous. So once again, I've got that as modus RDA on here, and you will get a 25mm RDA on here with no overhang whatsoever. Uh, it's comfortable to squonk with, you know, the, the door, or sorry, the window in the door, you know, it's all smoothed off around here, I can get my thumb in there, the door doesn't come pinging off, you know, when I squonk, and the best bit for a switch fit, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, she's firing away, and let's try and lock her, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, and it's locked. That I love having on a switch fit, just being able to lock it. So one last look, just to let you see this. I mean, the wood is gorgeous. I mean, the wood on this and on the Make Mod is just done really, really well. But I'll cover everything else up top. Now, starting off with the Make Mod, I've got to say that the thing I love about it is the stab wood, and that applies to the squonker as well. The wood is gorgeous, <laughs> really, really nice. I also like the engraving. Uh, I just love the tree, the Ent on the bottom here, Ent mods. It's done very, very well. Also, the switch. I, I mean, I'm running, <laughs> wait for it. I mean, I'm running a 0 0.15 ohm build on this uh, Doge V4 here, and there's no heat in the button at all. Uh, it doesn't actually say on the details that I got what they recommend the builds are, how low you can go, but 0 0.15, no heat in the button whatsoever. And with this, it's just, it's not super light, as in, say, GP Paps light, uh, and it's not stupidly stiff to press, it's just got a gorgeous throw on it. And obviously, it's a hybrid, and it, it performs exceptionally well. You know, the brass, you know, the top and the bottom here, that will tarnish, you're going to have to polish it up, but it, it's taken its time. I polished this up this morning, um, even after the three weeks I think I've had this, it didn't really patina that badly. It didn't get as bad as, you know, I don't think it's a cheap brass. Admittedly, it's not the shortest mech I've ever come across. I think it's about 95mm in height, uh, but it's... And, and also, I will say this, whilst I'm not a fan of, you know, the, the little raised bits here and here, God, my vocabulary is terrible, um, it does make it easier to grip it as well. It stops it sliding out your hand. 
Uh, and as always with stab wood, you know, if you're going to get something like this, get yourself some Howard's wax or Renaissance wax, stuff like that to, you know, maintain and, and keep the stab wood in good condition. <laughs> Just with the wood, it's absolutely gorgeous. The other thing I think you may struggle with is because it's geared towards 24mm RDAs, you know, you may struggle to get something that, that looks good on it, that matches it. You know, you're going to have to hunt, I think, for something. Uh, but that, I think, looks great. And as always, you know, with a hybrid, make sure that the 510 pin protrudes far enough so that it makes contact with the positive on your battery in this mod. Go to Steam Engine and check out all the details there. The link is in the description for every video I put out. Do you know, when I got the squonker, I'll uh, be completely honest, the thing that I did not like about this one bit was that this tray, this it's like a, a Delrin or a plastic tray, um, it was not fixed in place. Um, it was not fixed in place. So when I did the tap to get the battery out, the whole tray was actually moving and swinging out uh, and it wasn't right. Um, so the guys have changed the design and they are now using uh, an epoxy behind it to hold this tray in place. Also by doing that it combats the other issue that I had before was that you could squeeze it and you could feel this tray inside moving and you got squeaky noises coming from the mod. None of that happens now, none of that happens, it's all good. Um, the, the only thing I will say is that with the internal system they have here it does make this slightly taller than maybe what you're used to on a lot of the squonk mods that are out these days, even the switch vets I've seen. This is possibly the same size as, say, a regular mechanical 2700 in height. It performs flawlessly. I mean, that's a, an old 454 I've got on top there that I've been playing with, and... No problems at all. Uh, you'll get a 25mm RDA on here, no problem. And you do have that five clicks on off, but it's, it, you've got to be quick. It's not like um, one, two, three, four, five. You've got to, there we go, and it's back on. Um, but just having that electronic lock, I really like that. I really like having that on the squonker. The fit and finish on the door, the wood, is, as I said in the close-ups, 10 out of 10. Uh, it's done really well. It's just the, the only the only negative that I can... Is, is that a negative? Uh, yeah, the only negative or slight con is that it's slightly bigger than comparable squonkers. And that's just because of that, you know, tree that they've got inside for, you know, the switch fit and the battery and so on. These are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but you're paying for, you know, one little company's time and so on. It's a, a boutique mod maker. It's not mass produced. If you want one, go along to the Facebook page. It's not a, there is a group and there is a page. You can buy it through the page as well. So you don't have to necessarily join a group as such. Uh, I will say once again, the make mod is, I'm pretty sure he's doing it for $200. Uh, for the next hundred pieces, he was only making 500 of these in total and Squonker you can just go and buy just now. The link for the guy that does all the leather work uh, Here and I will show you that I forgot to show you that. Sorry, I've got juice in this. You can see it's got ent mods On the back of this Squonker case as well. Uh, I'll put a link to his page in Facebook Thank you to ent mods for sending these absolutely gorgeous bits of gear on to me to show off to you guys. Um, that's it. Until next time, bye for now.